Hey, Dosers, Tracy here from the San Marcos Escondido campus. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you know me or you've been in my house or in my office, you know that I love books. I usually have two or three going at the same time. And I love data. I love research. I love podcasts. I just, I really eat it all up. I love it so much. And But there is one book in particular that is a common thread in all of my spaces one in my bedroom, one where I have my quiet time, several in my office and on my phone, all those things, and it's the Word of God. And this week we're talking about joy in the everyday, and I get the pleasure of talking about joy in the Word. And I love, we're gonna jump into Jeremiah 15, verse 16, and it says, your words were found and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. And when I think about ate them, another translation says I devoured them. Devour means to consume consume eagerly and to get it all, you know, and then I think, okay, well, that's equitable to eating it. Christy McClellan uses, we feast on the word. And I think when we do that, if we think about just food in general, we digest it, it goes to every cell of our body, and then it fuels us moving forward. Well, the word of God is the same. It's like when we get in it and we digest it and we devour and consume it, it gets into every every part of our being and it fuels us moving forward. And I just, I love that so much. John tells us to remain and to abide in it and that its precepts will bring joy. The Psalms tell us so much. And uh, just, you probably know this, but even in just Psalm 1, 119, hear all the things that it says. It it says, I've rejoiced over it. Your precepts, I contemplate on them. They bring delight. It says, um, it's my counselor. And going on to verse 50, it's the longest psalm we have. It's, it gives me comfort and affliction. It's the lamp unto my feet. It's the law. I will rejoice in it. And it goes on and on. I have all kinds of notes here. It's a healing bomb. It lasts forever. It's active. It's alive. And all of these pieces of what the Word of God is, but it takes our active participation in it for it to become those things. So I hope that you will look at the Word of God in a different way, regardless of your circumstances, um, coming to it and asking God, through the power of the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what it is that he wants to say to you. And I promise you, he'll show up every time. It says that's the job of the Holy Spirit is to reveal to us, right? And coming with this mindset, not that I'm just gonna mark it off of something that I've done for the day because it's it's a chore that I have to do, but coming to the word with this expectation that God is gonna meet us, I'm gonna get to know more about his character in his heart. Um, We're studying Revelation right now and we are learning how it all ends. He wins. That in itself, being in the Word of God, the byproduct is joy and contentment regardless of what's going on. And so I would say to you, get in it. I mean, I'm so you're probably so glad that they only gave me five minutes to talk about this because I could talk for hours about the benefit and how God has met me in my own personal life through these pages. It is the book that is written up and highlighted. And, you know, I've got the sticky notes because it has changed my life. It has changed the lens in which I look at life and all circumstances. It has consumed me like eating food and changed the way I have moved forward in my life. And I want the same for you. So here's my challenge. Get in it. Come to it as this active participant asking God to reveal to you. And I promise you every time when we abide, when we remain, when we sit and we read the precepts, the joy of the Lord will come to us. It says the word will not return void. That is a guarantee that we can bank on. I'll see you next time.